How is everyone doing? So before I list this set for sale, I wanted to kind of just take a look at it a little bit because you all watch me so every single part of this ensemble live on the internet, whether on YouTube and or Facebook. I was making decisions live, trying to figure out what I was going to do and kind of showing you the different options that you can have if you create your own clothing. So the first thing I did decide was the style of dress I wanted. Little girls love these poofy bottom skirts that kind of stand out. Um, and they also like if they twirl that they will poof out a little bit. And although this is 100% cotton, it is big enough to where if she twirls, it will poof out. But it already has a poofness about it just by her standing that little girls tend to like. I decided on this collar because I just think it is the cutest thing on little girls. And I thought this would be perfect for a holiday dress. Now, the thing about this dress is that it's sleeveless. But don't let that bother you because most um, most parents have some type of sweater or jacket that looks good with the fancy uh, dressy-up type clothing for little girls. So I didn't let that bother me. I was thinking about putting sleeves in but decided not to. Because even if I had put sleeves in, they would have been short sleeves anyway. So I was thinking, well, I'm going to leave this it's sleeveless. Now, there's a few things on this dress that I had never done before, and so it's my first time. That would be the collar. Um, I'd never uh, sewn this type of collar before. And also, this was the very first dress that I did uh, where I put buttons in. Normally, with little girls' dresses, I've been putting zippers in. Zippers are much easier, so I thought. And then I decided, okay, let me try some buttons. And I'll talk about those in a minute. You all watching me sew the buttons, though. It was pretty simple. Okay? <clears throat> so I decided I wanted the collar to stand out. So I did a bow, a matching bow, uh, that will complement that. The bow is removable. You watch me as I made decisions on whether I should place it there uh, or should I make it removable. A little girl might want it on her hip. She might want it on the front side. She might want it directly in the center on the front. She might want it directly in the center on the back. She can move this bow. It's removable, only holding on with a safety pin. But also, she could put this bow in her hair. That would be just as cute. She has a ponytail. She has this dress on, and she puts this in her hair. Okay? Now, because this is the day of the face mask, I decided to make a matching face mask as well. Uh, and I just thought that completes this side of the set. Now, let's move over to the little boy's side. So, as you can see, the vest has a matching bow. And both the vest and the matching bow matches the little girl's dress. This is a perfect set for taking holiday pictures if you have a son and a daughter. Okay, um, I decided to put him a really functional pocket on. And if you watch me sew this, I think I was on Facebook when I sewed this together. You watch me make decisions. Uh, I did the pocket and redid the pocket, trying to figure out how did I want it and what color did I want it and things like that. So I decided to make a, a actual pocket. Then I was deciding whether I should make an actual pocket square or make a full pocket square which means fake and then I was thinking to myself well what would a little boy do with a pocket square not much of anything okay so I was thinking I was gonna put a full pocket square there or put something you know a little fancy or maybe holiday uh, on the pocket but then I thought well, I did make the little girl a mask. Let me make the little boy also a mask. 
This mask is a different style. I think they call this the 3D style. And um, I decided that this would be the perfect mask. And mainly because it fits so perfectly in the pocket area. And with a little boy of this size, this is a 3T, by the way. And this dress is a size 6 for a little girl. Now, um, what I would do is I would use a safety pin and pin this mask in this pocket just to make sure it stays. But as long as the little boy doesn't mess with it, that is not coming out that pocket. I designed it so it fits in that pocket and sits where it will not move. It won't go anywhere. He can run around and play and everything in it mask isn't going anywhere now if he takes it out then that's another story and that's why i would recommend uh using a safety pin probably in the back of it um just to keep it there but when needed unclip it take the mask out put it on his face go where you need to go and then when you get back to the car or back to the house you simply put it back in the pocket and safety pin it back in place same thing you would do with the um with the little girl's bow okay now as far as the bow tie it is clip on bow tie because of the, the age of the child don't want to put anything around toddler's neck that can choke them whether they pull themselves or anything if he pulls at this it will clip right off um and it shouldn't bother him at all to where he even needs to pull at it because it goes right on a shirt. Just as simple as it went, I clipped it onto the the vest. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to show you all that. And I'm able to create this set anywhere from a newborn all the way to a size 14. A, a girl's and boy's size 14. Uh, so if you're interested in this style dress, now with the dress, I'm sorry, with the set, now with the dress or the vest, I can also make something like this in both men and women, okay? Um, yes. So if you're interested, just let me know. I was thinking about doing a little hat for the little boy, but I just thought that it would just be a little too much but uh if you would like to purchase one of these just as a separate set you know not grouped up let me know and i could probably possibly make a hat for the either the girl more springy colors uh a hat and i can also do a different type of cap for the boy um that's the thing about making custom items you tell me what you want, and I make it happen. Anyway, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, and I look forward to seeing you another time. Goodbye.